All right. What is going on, everyone? First and foremost, I want to say thank you for being here right now, watching this video. I do really appreciate you for your time, and I'd really appreciate you if you do consider subscribing because it truly does help me out a lot now. We got Juice World's ex girlfriend, A. Alati, basically using all of his last remainings for her own gain and, you know, trying to get money. I'm pretty sure he, she even got to the point where she sold their explicit tape, you know, their private tape and whatnot. I'm not going to dig too deep into that whole situation, but just know. Yeah, she's she she she's bad, man. She's bad, um, and it's not looking good for her, man. You know, you know she's not really gaining any love from people anymore. If you get what I mean, um, she's using him. She's not even using him because he's he passed away, right? It's just like she's moving on, and she's just like okay. But um, yeah, fans fans of Juice World are hating her. Of course and people in general don't like her so because who would bro you're taking the guy who passed away and basically selling his stuff just because people are gonna buy it just because he's famous um man she's it's, it seems like she's going broke at this point because it's not looking good man but I'm gonna just stop the app and then just play the video I need to talk about Ali Lottie, bro. I just want to rant real quick because I just seen that she's selling some of Juice World's clothes, bro. And it really just made me think what is up with these hoes and not even hoes. What is wrong with people mentally? Bro, in the post here, it says, I'm selling a lot of J and I's clothes that I never wear. I want to get rid, I think rid of things rid of it thing is di discounted i don't know bro i suck at reading but look bro she's selling a one-on-one v loan whatever 500 that i'm pretty sure that shit for juice she's literally just selling his shit and treating it as if she's doing this nigga's service by selling his clothes nigga what first of all how is the ownership how does clothes ownership go when you pass because i ain't gonna lie when i die i ain't letting none of my niggas touch my shit i ain't gonna lie i'm a hoe nigga i'm a gatekeep my shit even in the grave but like who's giving her the right to sell his shit also where is i'm not gonna lie it just seems to the point where it's just like it's there you get what i mean it's there she's always she's always had them you know when a person passes away right and you know you have something whether it's a piece of clothing or something that reminds reminds you of them right you know it's like that bro you get what i mean and i guess to the point where maybe juice world passed away and she was just like he she had his clothes and it was just like uh you know you know you know how it is like you can smell you can smell them and things like that bro it's weird but you, you get the idea and it's just there bro so it's just the point where she she doesn't even need him anymore she she she's moving on basically selling his clothes bro which is sad manage me in a lot of this stuff how come she is able to get away with saying showing doing all these things fucking with this man's leg legacy and no one ever puts pulls the plug on it why does everyone let this shit pass it's like bro at this point she's bullying this nigga and he can't stand up for himself this nigga's dead and I, i'm just trying to understand bro anyone come baby baby where are basically using a person who's passed away for your own beneficial gain you get what i mean the guy's passed away he can't really do anything you're just like taking taking his old belongings and just selling it for money because he had a large following and a large fan base and people are going to want to buy it you get what i mean like oh it's juice world's clothes bro and not only is it juice world's clothes but they're like big brands they're big name brands so it's just like okay well of course they're gonna buy it but so it's just like end of the day man no amount of money is worth that kind of disrespect you get what I mean? Like, let the man rest in peace, bro. <laughs> like, he's he's passed away, yet people still find a way to use him. To use him for money, bro. <laughs> you get what I mean? Which is just... It's, it's, it's disgusting, man. 
are you, Bibby? Come help Gerard. Bibby, she's playing this nigga, bro. Like, bro, if I'm Herbert, if I'm G Herbo, and I see my dead homies getting disrespected by his girl like this, I'm going over there. I'm going over there. I'm putting my foot down, and I'm gonna talk to her. I'm gonna give her good talking to as they give. <laughs> nah, but bro, Ali Lottie's actually a horrible human being, and she is a genuine piece of shit, bro. And I'm not even joking when I say that shit, even though I'm laughing around. But it's just so funny how horrible of a human you can be and have a following at that. At this point, it, they just give a follow to everything. We following pedos. We following this thought influencer that has literally no talent i'm not gonna lie her best talent is and i'm not gonna lie people only know her for being juice world's ex-girlfriend bro that's literally all all it is you know what i mean and every time she goes viral it's for juice world bro <laughs> you get what i mean like every time she goes viral people talk about her she has to mention something crazy or do something crazy and basically mention Juice World in the topic, bro. So never mind, I'm tweaking. But I mean, what the fuck? Why we we live in a society where junkies are high class people now? What the fuck is this fan Addy doing selling Juice World's clothes, my nigga? What the fuck? I ain't gonna lie to Ali Lottie also is old as shit, bro. She old as hell. That bitch, auntie, you old. You need to go get you a job. Go worry on your 401k. Nigga, your retirement coming up soon. Nigga, you ain't got no benefits from being this nigga dead ex-girlfriend. Where your benefits for that, my nigga? You got to go talk to fucking HR about that shit. Because you ain't, you definitely not in the will. Ain't no way his mom let you be in the will, my nigga. Ain't no way his homies, his management, anyone let you be in any type of will. And y'all wasn't married, so you can't even. My phone said it ran out of storage, so that was my it, that was my sign to stop yapping, bro. I got off topic. But anyway, bro, I feel like this is... I didn't have no crazy shit to say. I just had to say, let this demon be gone, bro. Why can't she fall off? Why do y'all niggas keep let, giving her likes, bro? unfollow report this hoe if anything call 911 fuck mark zuckerberg and reporting her profile get this bitch behind bars i'm trying to see her in jail i'm trying to see her as a fucking guest star on scare straight scaring hoes get it together just stop exposing niggas and being a whore you're gonna end up like me asshole like I'm trying to see her at the bottom of the barrel. I'm talking down, poor. I want her on the streets, nigga. Like, bro, I'm hating. My fault, bro. I'm going crazy right now. I'm going crazy right now. And not only that, bro, even Juice World said she was a demon, bro. Even Juice World know she was a demon, but Juice World probably didn't know she would do all of this, bro. <laughs> you get what I mean? He never knew she would do all of this. And I'm not gonna lie, this kind of this kind of disrespect though didn't come until years later. It's not like, it's not like after a few months he passed away and it's just like, oh, I'm selling your stuff and everything just went downhill. Like it took years, bro. And, and it's like a documented thing, bro. It's like, bro, you could literally search up search up a lot and see a whole bunch of crazy nonsense that happened in her life bro like she's getting arrested all kinds of stuff bro she got a new boyfriend like she's selling juice world's clothes she's selling his ex tape like bro it's bad man but let's keep going bro i just have a soft spot for juice because like bro didn't deserve to pass how he passed bro is a young age my nigga like it's just a sad story and plus i i had a connection with juice after x had died and x was really a big thing for me so being able to go from x to juice bro sometimes nigga i be feeling like i'm ski mask like damn my nigga just went out like this like what the fuck but like bro that's just how i be feeling and when these girls thank you geneva and genesis even though i know that there still be beef with geneva um uh, i know that they don't be playing with x name crazy since his passing and <sighs>
This I don't know, bro. I'm exactly, bro. They let they let X rest in peace, but <laughs> this, bro, this, bro. I don't know. It's, it seems like they're not even doing anything about this. <laughs> I'm tired of this, huh? But um, that's it for my video. I might have to censor some shit because I did say some crazy shit. But I love y'all, bro. Stay cool. Peace out. Two videos in a day, nigga. I ain't did that shit in a while. So you better lock into this shit. But yeah, man, I'm gonna end this video here. Let me know what you guys think. And, bro, Just Rose X is a demon, bro. She's a straight demon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, imagine, imagine your ex boyfriend passing away and you just start selling his clothes, selling his stuff, selling everything you guys did together. <laughs> Like, bro, that's straight disrespect. Even for a normal human being, bro. You don't even have to be famous. Imagine you imagine you passed away and you don't even know that your ex is just selling your stuff, bro. Selling all your clothes. Disrespecting you. Not even caring about you no more. You get what I mean? Just straight up disrespecting you. Not even caring about you anymore. Selling your clothes. Selling your belonging, belongings. You don't even have to be famous, bro. Just imagine that happening to you, bro. Like, you don't have to be juice, bro. You don't have to be famous, bro. That's disrespectful, man. But she needs help. She needs help, clearly. I didn't, me personally, I didn't even know she was 30, bro. I just figured that, bro. She looks like she's in her 20s, bro. But she's 30, bro. In my opinion, isn't 30 the age where you're just supposed to, like, settle down? You get what I mean? Kind of settle into the peaceful lifestyle. But like, she's going on like she's still in her emo phase. Still in high school like a teenager. Having bo having new boyfriends. Abusing drugs. Like, bro. It's a lot, man. She doesn't act her age, but. Yeah, man. Without further ado. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out.